Hi everyone, welcome to my newest video, Apple and Pear Wine. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. Thank you very much. There's an ingredients list and steps along the way. Appreciate your watching. Enjoy. Hi, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be making a apple and pear wine. Uh, I've got four pears and uh, eight apples, approximately six pounds, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to cut them all down, put them in my pot, and get them simmering. And then we'll uh, get back to things. Thanks. So, at this point, I've got my apples and my pears in the pot and it's on the burner. I'll get that up to heat. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then we're going to add that to our sugar water. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got our apple and pear mixture uh, cooked down into a nice mesh a mash and it'll loosen up even more I'm going to break it up it's been cooking for about 15 minutes on a low simmer I let it sit for about 15 minutes Give it another five or ten to simmer down a little bit more. I'm going to start my sugar. So this is six pounds of apples and pears. I'm going to do two and a half quarts of sugar in a five gallon bucket. Here's my five gallon bucket. That's one bag of sugar. I'm going to probably use another one and a half. We'll see, I'm going to measure them out with uh, little pint jars and get to that. Thanks. In here, we have 12 half pints of sugar, which should be about two quarts, and the uh, rind of one lemon, which I will add the juice of this lemon uh, later on in the process when everything is cooled down I'm going to add the uh, mash to this in a few minutes and then heat up some more water to add to the bucket to bring up the level here we have our mash and our sugar with the lemon zest all mixed together about three inches in the bottom of the bucket. I'm going to add more hot water and bring it up to about yay. Be about two and a half gallons of wine. Two gallons of wine when it's done. Thank you for your participation. Enjoy. Hi, so it's the next morning from the day where I made my apple and pear wine. Uh, it's been, what I, so what I did last night was I let the wine cool down to approximately uh, 75 degrees. Uh, below 90 is cool. You don't want the yeast too active. So I took a small pint glass, uh, half pint jelly jar, same one that I measured the sugar out with. I uh, put three tablespoons of active dry yeast into that jar and then filled it about halfway up with uh, clean water. Mix that up, stir it up really well, make sure that there's no dry spots in the bottom. You want to get it all real good and then I poured it in and stirred it around and this morning now all the apples have floated to the top, apples and pear particles, and there was a nice cap. And I'll film that on the next segment and make that 
that part of that video. Thank you. After one week, we're going to siphon off the liquid from the must uh, to help the clarification process. I'll be siphoning that off into uh, three glass carboys or just into the secondary barrel. Probably just into the secondary barrel for this time because the three glass carboys are apparently filled with strawberry wine, which I'm not too sure about, but time will tell. Check into that as it comes. Thank you. So, after one week of stirring the must and the wine from uh, break the cap twice a day, maybe three times per day, probably three times per day, we're going to siphon that off after one week, let that set for another week without all the material in it, and then we're for watching my video. So our ingredients list goes as follows. We've got six pounds of apples and pears chopped up and cooked in a pan with water. I added water to that pan, not just apples and pears, all that juice you saw in there was uh, liquid that I added plus the juice from the fruit. Uh, we've got eight half or twelve half pints of uh, granulated sugar. We've got the zest of one lemon. We've got the juice of one lemon. We've got three tablespoons of uh, active dry yeast and a little bit more uh, lemon juice to top. Plus uh, raisins. We've got. Uh, approximately half a cup of raisins, beat them up, and chop them up, and put them in there, and it's a mixing process, uh, temperature control. I try to keep the temperature in my uh, brewing area approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 85, it's very comfortable in there for me. Thank you. Enjoy your own recipe. Uh, I hope you enjoy bye. Congrats.